What is happening team? Just like with our nutrition, just like with our fitness, we are going to talk about our mental health on that bucking fit life scale. So when you're injured, when you got a bum ankle, busted ankle, busted bum, like whatever's happening, you stay off of it. You give it a break. You let it rest. Your mental health is really no different. You will not have all tens. You went through mindset mobility. You know this. You will not have all ones, right? It's in the middle. So think about your mental health on a scale. Where are you at? Are you burning yourself out? Are you burning yourself at both ends? Ah, oh, I have to do all this work. I'm doing all the things. Ah, oh, I'm not doing enough. I got to do... That's my struggle all the time. And I've gotten much more gracious and generous to myself. And I've been much more compassionate with, hey, you're doing really good. Highlight the bright spots. Really think about your bright spots. Like, what am I really, really good at with my mental health? Man, you know what? I love the way that I I communicate to others. I love how I am um, empathetic. I love how compassionate I am. I love how considerate and generous I am with other human beings. Also, I could work on doing that for myself. I could, it's, and notice, I could work on it. I can get better at it, not... I'm so bad, I don't care about myself, I don't, that's just not going to help. Just being negative about it, that's not going to help, right? So rather than me, oh man, oh, you're so great, I, you're, you're the best, like, oh gosh, what are you doing with your life? Why are, seriously? Seriously. And that's how it used to be. I would always just be so good with other people and very, uh, words of affirmation is a big love language of mine. Um, but I would be so good at like, just highlighting everything that everybody else does. And then I'd look at myself and go, yeah, but you haven't done this, 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 that, those, these, your brother's doing this, your parents did this, your grandfather, all of those things. And, and instead of it like encouraging me and motivating me, it just crippled me. I did that. Nobody else was doing that. I did that. And, you know, with your mental health, we want to be able to, to look at those, those really bright spots because you are you for a reason. There is a reason that you are programmed the way that you are programmed and you are everything this life needs you to be in this moment. That doesn't mean that we want to just stop. Okay, I've reached the mountaintop. I'm perfect. Deuces. I'm the best me. I'm the best me. Not really where we're at. If you're here, you're probably in that growth mindset where you want to live a bucking fit life or at least live a better life but you're going to get bucking fit to live bucking fit so you want to live a bucking fit life so with that being said though in our mental health we want to be able to okay hey i'm really good at these things but i also know because i'm aware and it's not a criticism it's not a negative it just is i'm not so good at these things or these would be potentially my limiting factors or these are areas in which i need a little more discipline or a little more accountability or support or guidance so rather than this is where i suck which is just aggressive but this is where i'm just no good or i'm the worst are you though are you though? Because there's always the option of, okay, what could be better and what could be worse? I mean, if you're, if we talk about nutrition, you know, and if an apple is like, you know, an eight out of 10 on the nutrition scale, but a piece of cake is a three out of 10, there's still a bunch of different options that are still worth. There are still a bunch of different options that are better. It's no different with your mental health. Hey, this, this situation, this communication, you know what? I really like how I handle this. I really like that I was accountable, that I, that I helped held myself to a, a degree of integrity and honesty. I also know that I, I feel like I could have done this better. Or it's one of those like, man, I dropped the ball. Hey, this is where, you know, the thank, sometimes it is necessary to apologize. Hey, I'm, I can acknowledge that I was short with you. I don't feel like I was good at communicating. Um, could I, could I try that again? Or I'm sorry for the way I communicated um, in the heat of the moment. I would really, I am going to do better next time. I want to apologize for how I handled that situation. It's just a matter of there are going to be scales. There's going to be a spectrum 
you're not going to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. Remember, in our in our other uh, in mindset mobility, we talk about progress over perfection. There is no such thing as perfect mental health. There is no such thing as perfect nutrition. There is no such thing as perfect fitness. Yet we try to achieve it all the time. Let it be on a scale. That's what the whole mindset mobility is about. That's what the whole bucking fit life is about. You're going to get bucking fit so that you can live bucking fit. But what that it's not just this idea of like get bucking fit, like oh, discipline hardcore. No, it's a bunch of BS. That's not what we do here. No, you're going to struggle. You're going to make mistakes, but you're going to be gracious, I hope. The encouragement here is that we hope you are going to be kind to yourself when those struggles happen, that you're going to appreciate yourself when those successes happen. And you're just going to get to where it's like, oh, I get it now. Oh, I'm not, I'm not getting bucking fit anymore. I'm, I'm living bucking fit because that's what it's all about. All right. So team, think about your mental health on a scale. It's not going to be perfect. Go with the waves. Mindset mobility. We'll see you on the next one. If you thought this was helpful, be sure to subscribe. But also, there's a lot more where that came from. I created the Bucking Fit Life Masterclass series, which has hours and hours of content covering nutrition, mental health, and fitness. And I want you to head to the link down below so that you can get your free mini workbook that gives you just a taste of what you can experience on the inside. Can't wait to see you there. Thank <laughs> you.